This has been one of the most peaceful, beautiful, vibrant autumn experiences I've ever had. I've stayed at this cabin before, but I've only ever stayed in the winter. And this is my first time in the fall. And Hudson's here and Allie's inside prepping dinner. This video is sponsored by L.L. Bean. It's a company that my family and I have worn our whole lives. I stand behind their products and I'm excited to share some of my favorite outdoor gear with you. It's these little moments where it starts to glow and you can hear the rain lightly falling. There's just no place on earth I'd rather be. and I were heading off on an adventure to a remote cabin in the Maine woods. And we stopped by my parents' house to ask their dog Hudson if he wanted to join us. And while we were there, we helped them out around the yard and spent some time together in the morning sun. And we all had on our L.L. Bean outdoor gear. Allie and I had some of their new jackets and hats, along with a few of our favorite items we've had for years. Because that's the thing about L.L. Bean. Their products are built to last. And though my favorite Bean shoes are still going strong after three years, I finally got the boot versions, and I can't wait to break them in. Ever since I was a kid, my family has always dedicated time for the outdoors. So the value of time spent in nature was ingrained in me. And every time we'd go on hikes, I'd see L.L. Bean coats get taken off the hooks and bean boots off the racks year after year, holding up strong through all New England's tough seasons. Because that's what happens when a brand has been field testing their gear for over a hundred years. So if you love the outdoors and you value quality and reliability, then visit LLBean.com for comfortable and durable outerwear that you can count on. And we arrived in the Maine woods after dark, under a full moon. We had about a mile or so to walk, with a majority of it uphill. And under the weight of our gear, that wheelbarrow dreaded any small rock or bump. But the workout only made the reward that much sweeter. And though it was a cold October night, we were both sweating. <laughs> and when we finally made it out there away from it all and illuminated that humble little hut, nothing else mattered. This was home for the next couple nights, where we'd cook and hike and cleanse our minds from time spent staring at screens. The energy of the full moon kept us up late that first night. An alley boiled chicken, and all three of us shared some while the wood stove got up to temperature. Because now that we had cooled down from the trek, the briskness of late October night was back. chicken than 
where we are. Come on, right here, look. This is all for you. Do you want to be hand fed? <laughs> <laughs> So we walked the trails under the full moon, the latest we'd stayed up in months. <laughs> it does kind of smell like up dog in here, Hudson. <laughs> Hi, Hudson. Well, we need fire to cook breakfast, huh? And we woke to a cloudy morning with a forecast of spotty rain throughout the whole day. And while we were walking the night before, I noticed a lot of the leaves were missing by the swamps along the trails, and I was worried that we might have missed the best color. But the morning revealed otherwise as a few colorful trees near the cabin were just a taste of what we'd see throughout the nature preserve. And Allie made her hearty oatmeal breakfast. We sipped strong coffee and both wandered around the cabin admiring our temporary home. some fresh film into my new point and shoot as shooting on film is one of my favorite ways to preserve memories. And for a brief moment, the sun broke through the clouds and we took the opportunity to wander off on a morning walk as this could be the last time we'd see the sun on this trip. didn't get far before the rain started, and we retreated back to the hut to wait it out. We all sat on the porch and even laid on our backs for a while, just listening. And after it calmed down, I restocked the wood pile, a chore I used to do with my dad every November through April growing up.
And I've said this before, but all it takes is one tree to make an unforgettable autumn scene. And here, it was this tiny little maple that covered the ground in red leaves that stole the show. And before we headed back out to explore more, Allie whipped up a charcuterie board with some of our pickled hot peppers from the garden this year. And the result was some of the best bites of flavor I've ever had. And up here in Maine, it was that later stage of autumn where a lot of the upper leaves had fallen to the ground and the lower canopy was starting to turn. And this stage, though slightly less vibrant, can end up being more immersive. scenes was this cabin that the conservation was working on. With firewood and rough cut lumber everywhere, you could still smell the sawdust as we walked by. It made me think of my own cabin and how I can't wait to get back to work there. Spending long days away from it all, building a dream with your own two hands. until we were sore and got back just before dark as the sun said one last golden goodbye on the horizon. And we had a late afternoon snack on the whole wheat sourdough I cooked the day before and then rested before blue hour. What do you think, Hoyt? And watching those old windows glow orange in the blue earth made my heart happy, as there's nothing cozier than a cabin with a wood stove in the twilight. And for dinner, Allie made her homemade chili, but it was too spicy for Hudson, and he didn't seem to mind leftover chicken anyway. And I did something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I sat by the wood stove and used Allie's homemade boot bomb to put a fresh coat on my old leather bean shoes. 
The kind of thing I daydream of doing all the time while I'm stuck in my office. A simple and meditative practice I'll do for as long as I live. <laughs> and while I love the rush of fall, and staying at a bunch of cool different places. It's simple spots like this that have my heart, that remind me of what I love most, and the everyday lifestyle I'm working towards, slowly but surely. Thanks again to L.L. Bean for sponsoring this video. 